we dream of a Christianity that looks like Jesus again. We, we, we read the, the words of the gospel and, and Jesus is, you know, the things that he said in those red letters. And, and we say, what if he really meant this stuff? What if we were to live our lives based on, on the, the words of Jesus? Well, the one thing above all else that I learned in writing this book with Shane, he was my student at Eastern University. And the one thing I learned is that he was much smarter than I thought he was when he was a student. I mean, the book radiates sophisticated perception of reality. And I say, why, when you were writing those essays for me, why were they so dull and prosaic when you can write like this? So that's the one thing I have to say. I just wanted to make an A. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the thing that I, I learned uh, about Shane, uh, in, in the book and in knowing him, because I have a chance to watch him, is the consistency that he has between the way he lives and the way he talks. And I find that there is a integrity in Shane that I often do not find. As a matter of fact, his integrity has me at times questioning whether I have always been upfront and straightforward. What Shane did was force me to let it all hang out. I think when I speak and when I write, generally I'm guarded. I'm saying, oh, what will my Aunt Tessie say when she reads this? I'm too worried about the audience. I think what Shane pushed me to do and what he helped me to do is to say what I honestly believed, as controversial as that may be, and as many critics as that might elicit.